Hey, hey, good morning. Hey, How good morning. Are you, are you kidding them? Uh, well, I had a really bad first game, oh, okay. but this game seems to be going okay. I'm just replaying your actual game. Let's see. Gotcha. You could confuse him more, but you're giving handicap to 7Q, that's good. Yeah. It's good to stop taking handicap. Oh, what happens yeah. here? You killed everything on the left side, that's good. Nice shape. Well, I killed... Yeah, it, you, still... you don't need me to win this game. It feels like. <laughs> <laughs> but in the beginning, we have to look a little bit at the first part, once you're done. And then maybe we can play a quick one. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe we can try an even game or two or three handicap. I don't want to overplay too much today. I let you overplay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, yeah, this guy. Job, right? Yeah, that should be your new account nickname, huh? O overplay doggo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pop out the chat. So 5Q plus, very yeah. very close to 4Q. You're a monster. Yeah, I'm on my way. Good. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. So this guy is trying something here, huh? Push. Ah, oh, he can cheat you. Atari, Atari, Atari. You gotta pay attention. Because if he plays if he plays G6 and you protect, he can throw in, you take, and then he goes Atari and you lose some stones. So you gotta give him two stones. Instead, instead of playing uh, J7, you had to take away a liberty at H7. So now, to uh... correct that problem, well, you can give him two stones, but then he escapes with the other two and he destroys lots of points in the middle. So you, right, you should right. play another move. Well, he didn't see that he can do all that magic. So you can play uh, K7, and if he tries the Atari and throw in, then he puts himself in Atari. So with K7, it's like you protect to his center invasion, but actually you're trying to fix the other problem. Okay, there's a call. There are some shapes you can play. You're safe everywhere, right? And he died big on the left side, so this should be a win. Yeah, I think I can just play L10, but maybe that's risky. Uh, yeah, it's risky. Because he can cut with Atari and go out and capture the two stars. So the, the right shape should be H9. Just... Keep the middle safe. Oh, I gotcha. Well, there is still that core you have at F12, but maybe you don't want to play it. Oh, right, right, right. And it's so easy to, to lose one game. It happened to me yesterday in, in the second game against Six Dan. I donated so nice. So no need to, to push too hard when you're ahead. Well, those two stones okay. you can save if you like. Yeah, maybe just uh, L12? Mm, that's a bit heavy. Let's see if you play the attach and then... Yeah, you, you better play M12. And if you hunt M12. you go L11 and you take them out in your center. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I donated a quarter of the board in a very fancy <laughs> semi. But it shouldn't happen. That quarter of the ball was actually mine for a long time of the game. For a big part of the game. So now, at 11. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Close after giving 100 points. I was only like 80 points ahead. Th that game you lost on Fox. In our uh, first sessions, it's still haunting me. <laughs> <laughs> Too much garbage happened in that game. <laughs> Absolutely. Way too much. It's, it's a garbage uh, ghost game. Oh, this Atari. Uh -huh. Wait, if you push and cut... Uh, you, you can just connect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then come out or Atari and Atari. How is it better? Mm. Ah, you can play Atari N11 and then Atari can. Can we do some groups here? Or Atari connect and cut. Or push an Atari. There are many ways to escape. I don't know which one to choose. 
I mean, you can just go L10 and then Atari from behind the J10. Or you can cut him N11, and if he resists, you Atari, then you Atari, then you squeeze, and then you cut the two stones. Yeah, this is better. Go N11. Okay. Use the cuts in your favor, we hope. But never know. Can he kill the right? If he, you know, he cannot. Okay, now cut him again. Then go out. He needs to take that stone. But he works hard for it. Then you also play Atari on the right side. Ah, oh, he doesn't care. Okay, just capture the stone. And this way, you can also push and cut the two stones in the middle. Oh, he's trying something nasty here. Ah, I see. Sneaky. Uh, you need to block. Or wait, you can cut. Too okay. late. Yeah, I was looking at. Yeah, 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 you could cut. But it, it's fine. Just leave. Wait a moment. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Cut was better, actually. <laughs> My bad. See, that's how I lose games. Now, <laughs> um, this is a bit, a bit risky, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you had to cut so big, and now it's too late. Okay, in that case, how to save this group? Call? Um, ah, you gotta play K18. And if he goes M18, you block, then he blocks. Then we can... Can we call? Yeah, we can. M19. His other group is alive. That's a problem. Okay, now it seems that you leave. M18 and that's it. Yep. Or he can still try to kill you with N19. He can try but it doesn't work. Because you can go down, K, and then if he farts your eye, you go, yeah, you can make twice. So if he get, goes N19, you play K, uh, K19, and if he plays K17, you play M17, and if he goes M17, you go K17. And you still have enough liberties, yeah, you're fine. But he could start from M18, then you got a block, then he goes down J18, and he's dangerous. Makes sense. So, M17 was a very bad reflex move. Because <laughs> if you cut, and he plays some Atari, you connect, and when he connects the stone, you cut everything at K13. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it happens. To play fast and stupid. <laughs> In the beginning, when you played, uh, when you just started the game, he played a 3-4, this R4, R4 was his second move. Or, well, his first move, because mm -hmm. the handicap was on the board already. And you attack the top right, 017. But you should actually attack the yeah, P4. Something around yeah. P4, P3, to make it more confusing. And then oh. he defended. Oh, okay. The next move, you attack P4. He played Kema. And then you went for C6. Okay. That was a good idea to try to confuse. But you could still play something in this lower icon. We have to look for some just mm -hmm. or bottom uh, left, like play F3, then R3 and go for a big side. Anyway, I didn't see how he died on the left, but it looks quite nice. That that shape is pretty strange. Yeah, this, how, everything how this Joseki on the left played out was really weird. Yeah, but in the middle of the left side, that group, I don't understand how it ended up so bad for black. Oh, he can oh, right, try right. something here to trick you. Ah, yeah, what, what you play when he goes K17? Well, he doesn't want to kill. Uh -huh. But he can try to start from there. But if he starts at K17... <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. I mean, it looks like I can just 
play M Go down. seventeen. Well, if he plays K seventeen and you play M seventeen, he will attack. And then it's a call. Right. So you want to expand your right. space. You want to go down K19 or you want to play L19. And when you play L19 and he plays M17, you make another eye at N19. You make twice. And you have one far side. Oh, gotcha, but gotcha. when okay. he plays K17, you can also go down. And if he plays M17, you play L18 and you make that four in an L shape, which is a lie. Because it's in the middle of the side. Gotcha. It's not in the corner like the bend four. So he can try that too. Uh, trick you. He can also try M17, but then it's pretty much the same thing. You go down K19, so you always want to expand your eye space, but create some opportunities to make one on the left, one on the right. Okay, that kind of uh, Mi. And if he plays L19, you just separate, he pushes M19, you attack it. In this position, you're actually a little bit lucky because you have the outside liberties. If you don't have the outside liberties, you can die. Well, he's probably thinking of something in that area. Otherwise, I don't know. He's counting. He wants to play anything. something. Let's check the score. Good question. Is he really trying to kill you? Or... Where well, are you leading by 16 points only? I don't believe it. It feels bigger than that. Ah, yeah. It's much bigger than that. Because uh, the estimator thinks he has many points around F18, and F18 is pretty much a neutral zone. Oh, yeah. I mean, even if he jumps F18 and you need to connect and he pushes again, he beats like three extra points there, not 10 or so. Oh, okay, so he's trying something. So, you can go down, or you can play N19, but don't play M19. M19 would be dead. L19 it's alive, K19 it's alive, and probably even K17 it's alive. Han it's actual, but it's two points, and you want to make four or three points. All right, we'll just. No, 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 no. K K19. I said just don't do that. Oh, jeez, Louise. Because that's the only, the only the only move that could kill you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. This is Miss yeah. This is, I mean, he could fall your eye with K19 also. Okay, that looks like a mistake. Yeah. If you if you would play just N19 to make an eye shape, it's yeah, yeah, connect yeah, and you have twice. Okay, that was a big big donation. So that's fine. You know what? <laughs> Let's try a sneaky move. But like this, you probably lose the game. Anyway, play F18. It's funny, he spent so much time, and then he played a shitty move to induce a mistake like that. <laughs> I mean, the, the way to live is to go down K19 to make it a bigger life. Yeah. Or L19 yeah, or N19. But M19 <laughs> was the only move that kills you. And you found it. Good. Yep. In a in a split second, in a blink of an eye. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Good, but with this move we can... Ah, uh, we cannot. I thought this move is center. Because you go down K19 and you, mm, it doesn't work, you can throw in. So how's the score now? Now the game became very challenging. Yep, yep, yep. But hang on. Oh no, you're still okay. It's close, but not so fine. Cut him G, G2. I want to see how he reacts to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He didn't fall to this cheap trick. Uh, push once, M7. Oh, and then cut those two stones in the middle, and it's okay. But push, push, yeah. Probably center. He might, okay. And now push and cut him in the center, L10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 points. This can be a half point gain after you gave him like a half of the board. About. Oh, wait a second. Atari, Atari. Ah, you know what? Push on the right side, P14. But he will block.
If he doesn't block, you have Atari, Atari, and you escape. Then also push N14. And when he blocks, you can Atari uh, K13. It still looks big what you got on the left and the middle. Anyway, don't resign this one. Okay. You win by half a point. No, actually not. The score estimator doesn't. No, I, yeah, I doesn't think your group is dead. That I'm dead on the top. Doesn't right. know that. So wait. Uh -huh. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Uh. Hmm. Not much to do. Well, you can push once at N10. You should probably do that. Okay. Also push at G16. Funny to die like this with N19. Wait. M1 and connect. Yeah, there's not much to do. But let's count. You have over 80 points. Hmm. Oh, he was chicken again. Now play uh, C4. Or actually D, D6. Yeah, D6 better. Well, he also got a lot. And then also C4. <clears throat> he was so lucky to capture that group. <laughs> For free. <laughs> Uh, G G16 in the top. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's centered to turn once. Tari connect. It's not so great. Um, what else? N3. He can play that in center. And if he doesn't answer, then you Atari, you push under. Maybe he will just go M4. Then C5. He can play C5 and throw in once at A3 and destroy a couple of points. Okay. Not much left. You can play one Atari M15. He can play Atari T10, he can play Atari L1, he can push N4, M6, he's got so many center moves. Atari connect, we have a problem here. You gave him, oh, okay, connect. you gave him 35 points there. About yeah, yeah. Yep. 35, 36. Anyway, less than 40. It was a nice present. Take the code F12. Here it's a double coin anyway. He takes that one, you take J10, so you're fine. But if you take this one and you connect, he loses some points because he played inside. And if you defend on the outside, but he has some threats. Wait. Satari connect, you lose one point, he can push you block. And then he plays Atari connect. Yeah, you don't have to answer this. Fill the call. F11. It saves a point inside your territory. Also, the call is one point, and here you lose one point. So, you're up by one or two points, because you also played inside once. Okay. So, the point, yeah, Atari here, you connect, you're fine. The point you lost here, you actually made back uh, by F8, and connect again. Mm -hmm. Easy to count this corner, 12 points. Atari connect because he captures center. <clears throat> Maybe you had to kill him more earlier 
just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably so. So if you Atari, uh, he connects, you connect, and he plays another center move. Ah, oh, is it center? No, he's got, yeah, Atari and connect is good. And then when he plays O10, that should be a gote. All right. Thirty-six points, just like that. So you were so much ahead. Now you should play G nineteen and connect. He has something like eighty points too, and two extra prisoners, and also. Oh, he's got five and a half call me. That's a problem. Uh, wait. Push, Atari, connect. Push once. E19. Destroys a point. And if you, if you place Atari and you connect, then you can play H17 in center. But he might play H17 in center. Ah, then he can play M6. Okay, connect. M6 he has to play and O10. But you can play wait, this is center. Something here with Atari Atari. No. Uh play Hane B1. And connect A3. Mm -hmm. Well, normally in handicap games, it's a uh, half point coming. This is not center. Feel the call A1. But on IGS, if the difference is like more than two hand, two stones, you give two stones and reverse coming. I don't know why they have it this way, but they, they just wanted to make it more challenging for Daniel. That's <laughs> why they put this rule. <laughs> <clears throat> you build a lot, but it's hard to beat the reverse coming and uh, 36 points donation. <laughs> true, true. How much true. you kill on the left side? Nine, 19 no, stones, that's 38 no. points. Just the, yep. the captures on the board. And you have another. Uh huh, 37 plus 12. 50, you have 90 points, 88, 88 is good, let me check, the estimator, if you lose by half a point, uh, it's, it says you lose by 12 and a half, that makes so sense. if you deduct the commie, it's uh, 7 and a half, so you were 30 points ahead before dying. What is this? Uh, can you connect or you gotta take? Take the call first. That's what I was Capture doing. the call and then we connect. Sure. <clears throat> I see what he's trying. I think he was hoping I had Atari oh, okay. this side, like a trick move or something. Yeah, he wants to do something in the top right, but it doesn't work. Capture the stone. Just uh, yeah. yeah. That gives you some eye shape, but well, you don't really need. And now you can connect. Because it's some kind of dumb it's Mari here anyway. And now if you play that move. I wonder if you can ignore again. Tari Atari push block. No, you better don't ignore. You better play uh, G6. He still G6, uh, he, okay. he still can play. I think he wants to play P12 and then Atari from behind, but it's self Atari. He needs to connect. And then play inside at S13, but you connect, and then you have three plus two plus one, six liberties. So in the middle, he has like two. He will never be able to play Atari at K11 and kill everything. No time. And actually, he's 12 points ahead. Why he needs to, to try? Or probably he thinks he's still behind. Must. He must think so. Or he just likes to try. Yeah, yeah to see what happens. 
<laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Well, he's got 50 plus those 36 plus Komi. I still don't understand their counting. Or maybe I miscounted your territory on the left side. We will see in a moment. Yep. He should pass. I would imagine so. Again, he spends 10 minutes and he kills something. Atari. Okay. Defend. <laughs> mm, maybe he plays another move and then you can pass once. I think he doesn't realize that even if he plays J10 and he plays all the moves inside your right, he still cannot play K11 because it's self attack. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, he got it. Well, he didn't lose. Maybe he lost one point in the middle like that. Let's see the score. How to lose a one game? Yes. Another chapter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks good to me. Yep, I lost by uh, twelve and a half. Mm -hmm. Yep, thirty-six Thanks points. For the game. Yeah, let's go back uh, at the beginning. That was interesting. On the bottom side, and I'm curious sure. about the kill on the left side. About the kill on the top, I'm not curious. We saw what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you could make a bigger life. We can have a look there too. But anyway, when you give to handicap. You don't have to overplay too much. Yeah, well, reverse Komi got you a little bit here, but yep. losing losing the large was too big. Oh, let, yeah, let me that's, find you. and it was entirely my mistake. So, not his, huh? <laughs> correct, correct. My mistake was to uh, mention the block instead of. Oh, okay, I found your review. Instead of cut. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Go back a little bit here. So first of all. Sure. When you play O17, it's better to attack right away. Also, after you play P4, if you want to ignore, maybe it's interesting to play F3 instead of C6. Because if you play F3, and then you continue the Josek in the lower right. When you play F3, he's supposed oh, to okay. answer C6. And then you attach. Let's just play out the Josek to see why it's good to have this exchange. You play R3, he will slide. He doesn't have to play Q4. I mean, uh, Hane, S3. Q4 is bad for him. He should Hane, then you pull back. Then he goes uh, hanging connection S, uh, yeah, and then you extend L3. So once you play this Joseki, you start to, to cover a lot of space on the bottom. So it's good to play F3 exchange first and then continue the Joseki. Yeah, if he plays that, it's okay. You enter top right corner R17. But if you look at the position now, you started with two handicap and it feels very even already, right? Because mm -hmm. once you play the exchange at F3 and you, you make the Joseki, you cover a lot of space in a few moves, so you really catch up the handicap advantage a lot. So it's good for him. Okay. Probably he won't play R10. He needs to be more aggressive, play L17 or something, or kick, and then it's it looks nice to play R10, but also in a way over-concentrated. Everything is on the right side. Yeah, this is a more interesting move. And then you got to attach or okay. play Sansan. San. Totally different game. But okay, you, you, you try to confuse him with EC6. But then if you just answer and you continue normally, well, he also played terrible this Q4. Anyway, it's okay to attack from the left side too. I mean, F3 is just an alternative move. But yeah, he push here. Then he approach. And his approach doesn't have to make you O3. Okay, O3 looks nice, but if he cuts P P3, you're going to kill him anyway. So he, oh, right, you, right, you right. can play P5. Okay. You should take center, play no B. That's the vital point. And he okay. needs to do something on the right side, otherwise you push and cut. So he needs a move like R7 or R8. R8 is probably better in this case, because anyway, he's over-concentrated enough. And then you're fine with the corner, you're center, and you can play on the left side, either C10 or D10 or slide B4, or attach C4, something to help that stone. Or just, yeah, classic B4 and extend C9. Why did R5 is concern me? Ah, the guy is watching your review. Uh, R5. Uh, yeah, he's, he's in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. R5, 
Oh, and he was afraid of R5. Why R5? It's strange. Hmm. I mean, maybe he was talking about the push and cut. I don't get R5. Ah, you mean R5 if he doesn't do anything. Okay, so here, wait a second. Uh, you play the... I, I think playing O5 is pretty much a reflex move. You don't have to play it all the time. You're already alive in the corner. Okay. And of course, it's nice to right. separate his groups, but once he's pushing O6 and M6 and everything, and then he extends on the right side, you're running a little bit on neutral points, and you give him a lot of... Uh, uh, Moyo on the right side. So on the bottom this corner, it's already alive and safe. You can you can just enter R10 yeah. now R10 Q10 R10 is good because from R10 you can slide both directions So if he goes O4 or he surrounds M4 anyway, if he goes O4 he finishes Zigote. So he plays Atari and Nobi Let's say he surrounds you here because that's why you went out and then he plays this one mm -hmm. So you're completely alive and what you do right now. It's slide on the right uh, S14 and then he has to do something with this corner. I saw in the game you played R15 and he took away his base, which was good too. Now he has to play R14 or R15, something like that. You pull back. But that's actually good for you. Uh, you can push, no, push one time. Play S15. Ah. Then he blocks. Then you peep R17. He connects. Solid. That gives him a bad shape. And then you extend R13 or R12. R13 actually looks good here. So you make a nice base, but his group is kind of over -concentrated. So now he will capture that stone, Q17. That was just bait to keep him busy. And then you have time to extend in the top also, S17. So you give him, or like that, yeah. With S17, you actually uh, respect his thickness a little bit, so you don't allow an invasion to space jump. It's better. And the thing, no, no, L, L17, not S. Two oh, space sorry. extension yeah, yeah. to the top. The thing is, you give him one stone base in the corner, but you got to develop on both sides, the top and the right, so you're fine. And his walls are actually gotcha. not working. Like his thickness, this Q6, it's facing your R10 group, which is a strong group. So that will never build too much. I mean, it will be like a meaningless wall in the end. So you don't always have to go O5 just because it's a nice shape. That's my point here. Gotcha. And he could play, he could push several times like he did in the game, it was not bad. Well, you didn't have to play O3 in the first place. It looks good, but the cut was not an issue in that case. And here, instead of going Nobi again, you could put pressure, L4, to be active. Uh, because like okay. this, he can go K3, K4. But if you play L4, you press him down. You don't have to be afraid of Hane and cut, because your Atari and go down and he's in trouble. So he needs to come up, mm -hmm. L3 or K3. Or if he doesn't play anything, you play J3 and you build a lot. So, and if he plays like that, you can push and cut, or you can push again K4, or you can push uh, just L3 and turn, M4, or you can play Tenuki now. Yeah, this is fine. And then, yeah, like that. And if he protects, he might play M2, but it's actually small, because you're already alive and everything. And then if he does that, gotcha. you go k J5, so you keep him even lower on the bottom side. But the way you play, you play M5, which is generally good, because probably that's why, no, that's your move. Uh, oh, right. I mean, if he goes M2, you play J5. But, yeah, you go k and then from k you go J3 and so on. You keep him extremely low. So okay. go back to the original game. You play too many reflex moves sometimes. I'm trying to be harsh now. <laughs> so, That's yeah. fine, you're totally fine. Now, yeah, if you play M5, he can go K4. So then you see your... your uh... Yeah, let's say he goes K4 instead of K3. That's too flat, this K3. So now, now you can see that M5 is pretty much in a neutral area. And another thing, black can go P2. Well, not right now, but soon. I mean, right now probably you extend on the left side. You play something like C10 or slide and extend. Because he's pretty strong on the bottom. So if he plays a pincer C9, your stone is a little bit in trouble. And he can try P2 to see how you react. And against this P2, I if see. you go down O2, he doesn't cut. It's a better move. He plays S3, Hane. And Hane, you cannot block. If you block, then he cuts and he captures two stones or one. So you need to play Q2. And then he can go down S2 or he can leave it like that. He, it's already a little bit of profit for Black. Because he forced you to play inside and uh, made you over concentrate. So yeah, you, you could leave the group like this and you could make more points without playing that. Anyway, go back to the original game. So he played a chicken move K3. 
Then you can enter the right side, <laughs> which you did. Ah, to enter the right side, you should start in a different way. You can peep P7. Just P7 to give him a, a heavy shape, the soldier said. He will block. If you know B or he resists, somehow you are and you go. And then play something like Q10 or R10. Somewhat in the middle, to, to be in the middle of the group. Because if you go all the way to R12, when he pinces R10, uh, his wall starts to function like this. His wall looks a little bit uh, meaningless. And if he plays, for example, R12 now, that's over concentrated. And if he doesn't play anything, yeah, you can kick once R11, he goes up, and then you jump out. And that's over concentrated for him. And now his wall is also a little bit in trouble. He needs to run out or jump or do something, or at least R8 and try to fix a base. And then if he plays that, okay. your group is fine, it's quite light, and you can enter in the top right corner and make him even more over concentrated. Kori Gatachi everywhere. So that's a better invasion at Q10 in this case. And with Q10, it's much easier to go out into the middle instead of R10 just to go for base. Anyway, the, the differences are very sensitive. Yeah. I so see. remember this idea. Now let's see, you play the classic move, R12. He has to pincer, but he had to pincer R, R10. Good, you connect. By the way, here, now that he's far away, you could play Kosumi, S16. Undo this one. If you S16, you're already connected to uh, R12. Oh, I see, I see. If he pushes okay. you block and if he tries to go under S13, yeah, you just S14 and you're fine. And it's more artistic because with that move, uh, you're taking away the base. So what he's going to do next, it's probably a jump at N, uh, uh, N15. He's not going to push here. There are other moves for him. But he cannot play immediately, you know. Yeah, he has to go out. And when he goes out, you either jump uh, M16 or L17. And then he's floating, so you build nice territory. But the other way, it's also okay. I mean, as you played, it's quite normal. But this way, you keep him without ice in the corner. So he has to run, and then you build territory while attacking. And also, uh, vanish his moil. Anyway, it's a good vital point to start from R15. So that yeah, he should he should there. put a little more pressure because his wall is strong. So why play so close to your own thickness? R9 makes him over concentrated like this. Is the right distance, and now you can jump out. You can go P12, and then he also needs to jump uh, with a group, maybe O16 or O14. No, no, with the other group. Okay. This one is strong. He needs to save the weak. O16 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you hunt there. It's better. And okay. N16. And then he can try a block, P17. Then you got Atari. O15. He connects. Then you probably go down O18 to make some points. Because if you just connect, it looks a bit strange. He will cut N15. You know B ones. No Ataris. He must take the stone. You can play Atari one time. Uh, M15. He connects. And then you will attach uh, Q10. Because you need some uh, to make a sabaki. If you hunt it, we will cross cut. So he has to go nobi, R9. Then you can slide once in the corner, S14. Then he will probably block the corner, S16, for secure life. Now you bump, R11. Because from the bump, you either push or when he turns, you go up. And if he turns, you nobi and you have eye shape. So it's fine. You destroy the moyo, but also keep some points in the top. And black just kind of survive with that sequence to capture one stone. But this is good for you. So even if he plays R10, it's kind of over-concentrated. So your invasion R12 for really nice. And if he plays that, you pin okay. C12 or D11. Back to the game. Uh, what happened? So you played... Yeah, anyway, remember that move. But one thing, when you play S16, go back a few more moves. I just remember something. When you play S16, which is fancy, and you you should remember that move, instead of yeah, R14. Yeah. If he tries, there are two things. He can he can play R17, just Sansa. That's actually a pretty smart move. Because with R17, if you try to surround those three stones, and you jump, for example, O15, he has a local variation where he escapes. Uh, he can go S14, that's the test to G now. 
not the push, not S13. Just jump S14. Then you push through R14. He will uh, wedge R13, Atari under S13, connect. And now, when you connect as white, S11 or S12, he will take the three stones in a ladder. He will go S15 and it's a ladder because he's got the Sun Sun Liberty. Without Sun Sun, this doesn't work. Yeah, so you're captured. Now, if you capture that stone yep. to make a life, instead of giving him everything in the corner, so instead of S12, you'll probably play a T14 Atari or that one. Oh, T14. It's the same. He will Atari anyway. But T14, it's better style. You take. Then he extends S11. So this guy will probably die at R R12. And then he can also block S17 in center. So you just make two eyes, which is super painful. And if you push S17, he doesn't care. He jumps in the middle and 13. So that's a, an interesting move for black to try to resist in the fight when you play S16. But there is another move he can try. You gotta know the downside of these kind of fancy moves too. Uh, gotcha. So when you play S16, Instead of R17, he can try S13 right away. But once what you play against this, you cut, right? Only one move here. Uh, yeah, if, I think it's yeah like and he doesn't push. Many Q players, they push and then they realize they can't go out. Because when you push and white blocks, you remove your own liberty. So you got to go out at mm -hmm. S12. And here there are two options. You need to connect somehow. It's either R14 or S14. And probably in this case is good R14. Because if you play S14, he will Hane, you will Hane, or he will Nobi, and then you still must come back to uh, fix the, the problem. Yeah. And if he plays this one, you can Hane first. To see how he answers. If he blocks or... And if he blocks, you play one Atari. Because that gives you S14 center. And that helps you for the eyes in the corner. So Atari, then you block S14. He takes a stone. And then you come out with a hanging connection P12 or something. And if you need life, you go R17, and the Moyo is already gone, and those three stones are still under, under attack. So we're back to the position when he goes N15, and you came on, and so on. So that's something to remember. Gotcha. No, no, he has to go to split okay. jump. Well, oh, but right. anyway, he's in trouble. He's floating. Because now you go M16. And you build in the top, chasing this group. The Moyo is very small. Your group will uh, survive with R17 any time, or jump out. So this is excellent for white. Good flow. Gotcha. So what we want to see, the top left, huh? here it's clear. The bottom also quite okay. Before he jump out here, wait a second. You are moving five by five. <laughs> uh, go back a little bit. On the right side, he, he missed a nice move. S13 peep. It's similar to P2, but he should play it. Anyway, uh, the shape is okay. So now he enters C14. This is a very good move, D9. You're looking good, yeah. So when he plays C14, what you did? Uh, oh, you should not, you should not play the high move. You, you can play low, C12, or you can kick. Yeah, how about you kick C15? And then you know B, D14. Then you jump F16 to put pressure. And when he extends on the left side, uh, C11, you put a lot of pressure with B10. And B10 works well with your formation of D9 and C6. So you don't want to let him slide here. That's why you play this move. And he might block because the group is in danger. Or if he doesn't block, you push immediately. And then you play once at C10. That uh, prepares Han and double Han. No, no, C, C10. Take away a liberty. Oh, geez, and when you play C10, he either nobi or he jumps. If he doesn't play anything, then you go D11 and double Han and then he's in trouble. And this one, you just wedge and create cutting points. Because if you don't play anything, he'll play the 10 and connect. It gives you an empty triangle, but it creates cu two cutting points. So he needs to connect E12 or F12, one or the other. And that's a very over-concentrated shape anyway. So you build a nice top side, your group on the left, it's okay. Well, you should slide once at B4, so he doesn't kick or something to make it larger. Okay. And if he doesn't answer, you don't care. You go C3 or you invade H3. And if you answer C3, you can invade H3. If he protects H4, you go C3. You can still invade H3. You know how it works when he plays uh, J4 now? How you exit. Uh, yeah, if he tries to kill you like this, what you do? 
I can diagonal, can't I? Yeah, but it's so ugly. If you diagonal, he can still try the, the attach at g4. You better play you better play f4 or you push h4 and then you play f4. But you can start f4. And if he pushes h4, you push once. And if he tries to cut you, yeah, you go g3. And when he cuts, you attack and go down. Yeah, you play e3, e2. And he's doomed. See, he can't catch you anymore. He can Atari, cover, and then you kill the corner and you leave under. You make more territory inside his Moyo than he did. Yeah, and then you cut him. Boom. D. Oh, I see. And you leave under anyway, so it's it's already good. So he can't play like that. He has to pull back. And when he pulls back, then you make a better shape than Kosumi. Go back a few moves. That's a good technique, actually. Uh, here. So you play the kick. He cannot push here. He should pull back or bump. No, I mean, he. if he pushes, he's already in trouble. He, oh, yeah, yeah, he has to play e3 or e4. And then you push h4. And now when he plays the cover, the Hane, h5, you come out with good shape. Because you block and that Tiger mount gives you a nice shape to go out. He can play Atari Atari because you have cut and double Atari. So he needs to Nobi. Then you push once. And there are some cutting points. Then you clamp F2. He has to know again. And after you clamp F2 and Atari also, he, if he blocks you play Atari, he's in an empty triangle. So the bump at E4 was not so good. And if he goes back E3, he's also in trouble because you pull back and he doesn't have eyes in the corner. And this is empty triangle. Either way, it's empty triangle. And you can leave it like that. And then either push again or jump E6. And uh, the invasion was successful. So remember that attach. It's very tricky. And if you go back to oh, the original okay. uh, shape, when you play the attach and he pulls back, then you push h4 and it's again pretty nice. Now e3, then h4. So that's a good exchange to make. And here he should jump j6 or something. If he honey, you block and it's a tiger mount, which is always nice. And here you know b, h5. Then he needs either nice shape l6 or connect solid. And then you came on to G7. That's the elegant way to invade and run out. Remember this variation too. I'm, I'm sharing too many secrets today. But I probably yeah, won't have time fine. to play. I gotta leave in like 10 minutes. So you can, yeah, you can look a little fine. bit to uh, the top left area. That was interesting. So you don't always have to pincer, but the pincer was not bad. And if it's a low pincer, well, high is good too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you could attach d14 earlier. Go back a few moves. When you play the high pincer, he should jump out. So Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought he was going to do. He doesn't jump out, which means you can block him at d14. It's too nice. Right now. Well, Sansa was also good, but you can, you can block d14. And now what he plays? He should play something like uh, c13, no b, you connect. Uh, D13, then he plays Kosumi C17, you block. Then he feels okay with the corner, so he doesn't play that anymore. But look at the giant boy in the top. He needs to jump maybe L14. <coughs> oh, yeah. And then you can play once uh, C15, then jump B12, and you also build a lot on the left side. So actually he's making like 10 points in the corner, but he gives you 30, 40 in the top, 20 on the left. It's good. Nice guy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's good to block Sunstein because when he jumps, you can kick. Uh, but he didn't jump. That's a that's a shock. I like Sans. Yeah, exactly. C seventeen. It's okay, and he should jump out e fourteen. But then, then you put uh, then you start attacking with c thirteen. Anyway, now you sh you should still uh, play d fourteen to put more pressure. Oh, more yeah, pressure. Yeah. Okay. Because he will go c thirteen, I guess. Then you connect, and you have a nice wall. You connect your stones, and he still needs to do something. It's not complete life. Probably he'll jump c c ten. Then you block him once, mm -hmm. uh, c9, he goes down, and then you're fine. Well, you can cover d10, but probably no need. You can slide b4 or attach c4 or invade h3 and show him the variation as before. Yeah, because the cut doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. You're alive here. Yeah. yeah, if he answers, immediately invade. That's the, the weak point. Oh, that's a nice one. Very good. Yeah, <laughs> you expand the moil. You make a big box. Excellent, yeah. Good. Okay. Go back. So you played e14. I'm still curious how he died there. 
but there are too many other interesting variations in between. <laughs> there are a lot of. Okay. Oh wow. He entered like that. This jump here at B10 was really strange. Oh, there's a better way to protect. Instead of L15, you should play Kosumi M13. That was okay. Yeah. The, the. And well, when you jump, it's a bit optimistic. Maybe you should jump J15. But then, okay. yeah, I mean, yeah. your L14 looks nice, but also leaves a, a little bit of gap or hole in the top. Anyway. Uh, so you're saying block No, 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 earlier, before he invaded, in, instead of L14. Normally, you right. keep the territory if you play J16 or J15. And now if he jumps inside, you already have a stone there. I mean, if he comes J17 now, you're attacking with K18. So it's a bit more risky. Or again, like we did in the game, G17. But once you play K18 mm -hmm. and he blocks, you also play G17 and he doesn't have space to move. He's suffocated. Yeah, it's finished. G17 and no ice, no space, no life, no hope. Yeah. Gotcha. So, well, you went for a little, uh, for a bigger Moyo, a little bit too much, and then he ended, but he died, or he almost died. He was supposed to die anyway. So he played J, you played that one, he played Kosumi, then you played this one, it's good. You can also play K18, but okay, and instead of connecting solid, you can play M13. Because if he pushes and cuts, you already capture him. And M13 helps you more into the center. So Kosumi, that's a nicer shape. You should look for these kind of connections, which are indirect defense. So if he goes L15 and you block, and he cuts, you just take. That, that means you're connected. That tiger mouth is functional. And you can play this way. This is the ugly way, but you can play M17. <laughs> you found the empty right away. M17. <laughs> or this one, yeah, more interesting. But this one leaves Amaji, because you give him liberties. Yeah. No, it's okay. Play the ugly way and capture the stone. But I was thinking M17, Atari from uh, beneath. Yeah. yeah. And if, if he goes M15, you take. And then it's ugly anyway. But this is proper. And he's still in trouble in the middle. And like this, you will never die with that group. So you could refute <laughs> that dying possibility 200 moves before. I see it now, yes. Yeah, that's why he died. Because he didn't play the Tiger Mouth at move 87. <laughs> and 200 moves later, exactly boom. What... It backfired. All right, let's go Absolutely. Let's go a little further. Sure. Show me how his C12 died. So here he jump. Okay, you try to surround. Good honey pressure and so on. Nice move at K12. And now he's trying to get you on the left side. Okay. And I thought he played this wrong. No, it's actually. okay. You cut him. All good. Ah, that's how he live with that group. Yeah. Ah, instead of shoulder hit here, H3 is the move. Because with shoulder hit, you just connect him. You don't want to reach. He's strong right. in the middle. And he's not that strong on the bottom. So once you enter, he's in two pieces. And mm -hmm. something will die. H3 works. Well, he gotcha. can play H2, but you live under and... Okay, so with the shoulder hit, you help him a bit. Yeah, I was looking at building the center. But the, this, these two so. moves were good, but play, playing the wedge, you don't play the wedge when he's got it. You play the wedge when you create cutting points and he needs... Just leave it like that. You play two moves in center, shoulder hit and jump. Uh, H3 doesn't do anything. And then if you want the center, you go E5. That, that uh, wedge okay. is only played when you create cutting points, so he needs another move. Otherwise, you cut an Atari gotcha. and double Atari and kill something. But in this case, you play here and he pushes and you block an Atari and you connect, you make a nice center. So that's the move to enclose the center. Now, let's see the left. Okay. It happens it's... quite a bit later. I started taking... Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All center or most of the... Ah, here you gotta play C4 first and then A2 eventually, but okay. It's fine too. Now push again. Honey in the corner, take his eyes. Okay, this game is good. That's like one eye. Oh, you shouldn't throw in. You should no be. Just C15. Reduce, always reduce the space from the outside. C15, he blocks, and he has only one eye. If you play C15 and he blocks you, honey in the corner, you play A17. That's how you reduce the eyes. And if he blocks, you throw in. And if he connects, you no be again. Now you play the A. Ah. And then when he connects, he's dead in got actually. And if he takes, again, he's dead in got. That's only one eye. And now you play somewhere else. Uh, 
anywhere. Push again in the middle or jump. Gotcha. Like t- 10 games you play just to finish the game in fashion. Yeah. I see. Yeah. That's the way to kill it. If you start with the throwings, you risk to, to give him. Ah, that's how he lived with half of the group. You could kill everyone. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah. So let's see how he lived in the corner. So you play the throw in instead of push. Then, ah, okay, that one, throw in twice. Ah, and now he can leave it as a co. Oh, that's how he made that shape. But you could still, you could still push C15. In fact. Because if you play C15 and he doesn't answer, you have tie again. And he can't connect. So he might answer. That's completely one eye. Or half an eye. Because he needs A17. Ah, you can also play A17. No, actually now You just block in the middle. Ah, anyway, there is no way to run. Huh? I mean, E10. E10 or no B and then block. And if he makes one eye, he yeah. dies with one eye. He plays A17 and he's dead. You don't even play anymore. Gotcha. We need to, to make a Tsume Go session soon. <laughs> and check these kind <laughs> of possibilities. Yeah, and then how, how he live in the top left corner? So you had some kind of call. But anyway, strange formation to create this B11. Yeah, I didn't realize I didn't need to make the shape. Yeah, you didn't need to. Oh, and then you can even fight the call. I mean, you can take the stone, Atari, because it's everything false. Ah, oh, okay, that's how... Right. I mean, when he cut, you answer D18, then you push C15, and then you kill everything. Yeah, I see it. Okay, good. Whoops. <laughs> we saw the important things this game. So, for sure, for sure. We, we'll see you next week. And then we should, we should play good. one game. All right, and like I like to remind everyone... Um... Be sure to support Cornell on his channel. It's twitch.tv slash CornellGo. You can see it in the upper right corner of the screen. Um, and then um, if you're interested in having lessons with Cornell, you can contact him through Twitch, through IJS, through KGS. Um, he has a website with his email address on it. There's lots of ways to contact with him. His lessons are really, they're, they're quite affordable and very, very, very valuable in my opinion. Um, like I like to remind people, I mean, since in, in a little under a year, or maybe it's like nine months. I've went from 10 or 11 Q all the way up to, well, I'm 3 Q KGS now. But what does that mean? But anyway, yeah, they've been really valuable. Um, of course, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. I study the lessons. I think about what Cornell says. I study the stuff he tells me to study. And um, the process is working. So <clears throat> definitely uh, connect with Cornell if you're interested in lessons. If you enjoy this content, if you find it valuable, um, I do appreciate the bits, the cheers, uh, the donations, and of course, subscribing is a great way to support this content. Otherwise, you guys just being here, learning with me, chatting with me, um, even when I'm a little bit loopy and brain dead, when I, when I click the move that is absolutely the worst move in the top, um, and you guys laugh with me, that is the support that I need and I love. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me.